So today I'm, I'm talking about how you can use a laptop or a PC as an OBD2 scan tool to scan a vehicle for codes or even write codes. There's different things you can do. Using a laptop or a PC has a lot of advantages over a standard handheld uh, standalone scan tool. Because it really, if you have the right software, you can do a lot more things with it. So how do you use a laptop as an OBD2 scanner? Well, basically you've got two options. You could use a interface cable or an interface uh, Bluetooth dongle. And the most uh, common one is called this OBD Link SX. And it's right here on Amazon. I'll put links down below for everything I'm reading here. And this interface cable is a low cost way to interface with it. You can also use a Bluetooth dongle that also will work. Um, as long as you've got Bluetooth on the laptop or PC to connect to it. Some people do have a little bit of problem with the, with the Bluetooth sometimes, but it, it works. But I've also heard good things about these and they do work and they'll be wireless. So it's a good option. They're both low cost items. Like I said, I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But basically you either have to get this Bluetooth dongle. If you do get this, make sure you have Bluetooth in your laptop that can connect to it. Or you can get this wired one, which may be best for some people who have problems with Bluetooth. But basically you get these and then you're going to need the software. So th there's lots of software out there. Often these will come with a free thing called OBD Wiz. And it has a lot of options from reading codes, all kinds of things. You can see some screenshots here. By the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these things. They're just, this is just stuff that that's freely found on the internet. So I, I've used this a few times and it works very well. It's very basic. It can work pretty good. It'll read codes and clear them. You, you could do more stuff. Some people talk about uh, writing codes and stuff, which I haven't really gotten into. I think some other software might be better for that. So I can show you some of the best OBD2 software that you can get out there. And and so this is only one software package that you can use. This is often included in a lot of them products you buy because it's free, but there's also other ones out here and you get uh, it's either paid versions or free versions. I'm not going to really go through which ones are best. I usually just use the free one. As you can see right here, OBD2 free software, full version for OBD2 is. And since it's free is the reason why it's usually included in, in all these packages. Uh, there's other ones out here, so you can go through and you can find ones. I, I've seen people who are writing code, reprogramming the, the ECM, things like this with certain software packages. I haven't gotten into that, so I can't really talk to that, at least right, not right now. But basically, once you get the interface for your laptop or PC, after that, it's all about the software. So you, you have to go through like what you're trying to do and what's best for you. So if some one of these paid versions might be better if you, if you like the options or whatever, but if you just wanna read and clear codes, this, this OBD Wiz is actually pretty good. And the one I, I basically go to when, when I have to use anything like that. But like I said, it's, there's, there's many more besides this. So just find the best one that works for you. And so that, that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how you can use the laptop as an OBD2 scan tool. So basically you've got to get an interface, either the wired one or the Bluetooth one, and then find the right software that works for you. If, if in doubt, just start off with this OBD Wiz software, which uh, is, works pretty good for just clearing and read, reading and clearing basic codes and giving you, it has a lot of good information in there and it's free. If you want to go a little bit more, you can start looking at some of these other ones that have more features and capabilities. Some of them can reprogram the ECM if you know what you're doing and things like that. So that's basically it. If, if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.